<laughs> ah, Napoleon LaRoche. I should have known you'd taken up with the likes of Smelly. So Spyco has sent the famous Spy Fox to try and stop my plans for world domination. World domination? Er, uh, of course. Ah! Since you are one of the few people who could possibly understand my genius, I will explain my entire plan to you in nauseating detail. You see, I reversed the scale on the smelly evil dog bot assembly instructions. I created a 1000 to 1 scale, fully functioning evil dog bot. Just where do you think you can hide such a monstrosity? You silly spy. You're standing in it. Of course, you've disguised the evil dog bot as the centerpiece for the World's Fair. Complete with a revolving restaurant. One has to eat, no? Observe the means to my world domination. People buying tickets for the World's Fair do not realize that as they file to the turnstile, they are unwittingly winding the highly advanced clockwork mechanism within the evil dog bot. When the one millionth person has filed through, the dog bot, now wound to maximum capacity, will embark upon its horrifying rampage of destruction! Oh, once I have unleashed the dog bot, all the world's leaders will sit up and beg for mercy! It is unstoppable! It cannot be called off because it has no off switch! Yes, I have removed the off switch and hidden it somewhere in the World's Fair. So cleverly, so subtly, that you will never find it! That's what you think, LaRoche. Even if you did find the off switch, you would still need the activation code to turn the switch off. And even if you had the off switch and the activation code, you could never hope to get past the diabolically clever security device located in the evil dog bot's Achilles heel. Which is the only way into the dog bot's inner workings. It is hopeless, Monsieur Le Fox. There's no way you can beat me! <laughs> You'll never get away with this, LaRoche. Oh, I think I will. And now, Monsieur Le Spy Fox. Adieu! <laughs> Judging by those monstrous metallic molars, I've been imprisoned in the dog bot's mouth. How humiliating. I must find a way out of this cell so I can stop that evil roach. If I could only reach that fire escape through these teeth. I can gather information about La Roach with this talk balloon. La Roach's goons didn't follow the assembly instructions close enough. They seem to have left a few gears missing out of this contraption. This gear must go somewhere in here. This gear is too big to go there. This gear is too big to go there. I bet this loose gear is supposed to go somewhere. This gear is too big to go there. This gear is too big to go there. I wonder where this gear goes. That did the trick. Well, I guess it's like they say. The tooth shall set you free. Talk about escaping by the skin of your teeth. Now to stop LaRoche and his evil plans for world domination. My spy watch is beeping. I'd better answer it. Please stand by. Spy Fox, Agent Walter Wireless has intercepted a microfish message from Dotty Dash. Where is it coming from? It sounds like it's coming from an exhibit called We World. We World, eh? Sounds silly. The message is staticky, and Walter Wireless needs to get closer to hear it. You can pick him up here at the Mobile Command Center. By the way, I've recorded Napoleon LaRoche's evil plans, and I'm sending them to you via the Spy Watch. I look forward to hearing the dish. Monkey Penny, out. Oh! 
cold up there, sir. You have a stamp on your hand? No, I can't say that I do. I better stamp your hand so you can get back into the fair. There you are, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you. Spy Fox, I've been waiting for you. Smelly is up to their usual bag of dirty tricks, I see. Walter Wireless, Spy Corps' top tracking buff. Good to be working with you again, Walt. Uh, you too, Spy Fox. The last time I ended up with a fever from being cat scratched. Right. Sorry about that. So, you picked up a microfish message from Dottie Dash. That's right, but all I could make out was something regarding an off-switch activation code before the signal went dead. I've got to find Dotty Dash, Spy Fox. This must be important. The signal was traced to an exhibit in the fair called Wee World. Wee World, eh? Sounds like your kind of place. Well, hop aboard, Walter, and I'll get you into this Wee World. I'm in there like swimwear. Ha! <laughs> That's my luck. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. I don't need this spy gadget right now. I'll just put it back in the vending machine. A spy key replicator can. What's the key to this gadget, Professor Quack? That's a one-shot camera, like no other in the world. It's specifically made for replicating keys. You take a picture of the key you want to replicate, then bake it in an oven. The picture shrinks down and hardens into an exact duplicate of the key you took the picture of. It can only hold one picture at a time. But you can take a picture over another picture. If you bake a picture into the wrong key, just insert the key back into the camera, and it will turn back into key film. I'm sorry, what did you say? Don't worry. It's a point-and-shoot, easy-bake gadget. It's a good thing I need my fiber. Which key should I take a picture of? Key 5. <coughs> Here's where I keep my spy gadget. Just watch this spy heat the joint up with a demo of his spy heat. Excuse me, but the temperature has gone up well over 80 degrees. Oh no! I must call the air conditioning repair place! Oh dear, I'll be on hold for hours. That spy heat certainly was the hot ticket. Wolfgang Duck, an innovative chef known for his imaginative pairings of fresh local ingredients with his own version of what's tasty today. I like to cook, and I'm an imaginative fox. A chef outfit just might come in handy.
Go right in, Nancy. me. I didn't see you come in, Chef Wolfgang. What a pleasant surprise. Well, I was in the neighborhood and I thought to myself, my, it has been a long time since I last prepared food inside a giant mechanical dog. Yes, well, of course, as a fellow master chef, you are welcome to make use of my kitchen. That's very generous of you. I believe I... But you may not use my wooden spoons. The purple ones, they are mine and I need them. Of course, how foolish of me. You know, of course, that too many master chefs spoil the broth. Chef Dinah, I can honestly say that compared to you, I am merely an imposter. Oh, Wolfgang. You are such a kidder! You are too kind, too kind. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. I have to admit that at first I thought Professor Quack's idea for a spy camera was half-baked, but it turns out to be pretty hot stuff. I'll leave my chef outfit here, just in case I need it later. Where do you think you're going? The exhibit is closed. It's all right. I have a key. Oh, well. If you've got a key, then go right in. Ah, the right key. Excellent. See, I told you I had a key. 